Hey, what's going on guys? So this has actually probably been the most productive week I've ever had while working on a game project. I've managed to implement a working action bar, a bunch of spells, and their spell effects, and even about 2,000 lines of code. So probably most of the reason I've been able to get so much done since last weekend is because I'm able to take models from my previous game to save time. I've also been able to use segments of my old code as well, though most of it has been rewritten to make it more efficient. So like I said though, uh, I literally just started working on these spells and abilities uh, last weekend, so this isn't even close to being final. There's going to be a ton more spells and abilities, including a larger skill tree and a ton more classes to play. I just need more time to make them. So something I love doing when designing classes for my games is creating special class mechanics. So what I mean by that is spells that rely on a gimmick, a special resource, a point system, or combo effects. The idea I had for the Paladin class was that they'd have a separate resource bar next to their mana. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but for now let's call it the Miracle Bar. So in order for the Paladin to perform most magical abilities, like healing or summoning their Divine Shield, they need to use some of their Miracle resource. If they run out of Miracles, they can't cast most of their abilities. In order to fill their Miracle Bar back up, they either need to cast a Prayer or Ritual Spell before they go into combat, or they need to perform special combo attacks while in combat. They'd also use their Mana for their Ritual Spells and basic buff abilities. So next, my idea for the Conjurer class was that they'd rely on summoning things. So they'd summon up magical items to use in combat or buff themselves, and then sometimes summon creatures to fight for them. I wanted to include a Necromancer type class as well, but I thought since I'm already making the Conjurer, which is focused around summoning things anyway, I thought I may as well combine the two into one class. So I think what I'll do is I'll have the Necromancer type spells as a separate skill tree, so you'll be able to choose between focusing on upgrading spells that summon creatures, or spells that conjure special items and buff you. Last is the Assassin class. For this one, my idea was to have it rely on sneaking around, trapping enemies, and debuffing them with damage over time spells. The first ability, Hemorrhage, causes the enemy to bleed, taking damage over 10 seconds. And the second ability is called Apply Poison. This one will buff you for 15 seconds. Every time you attack, while the Apply Poison is active, you'll add a Poison Damage Over Time debuff to your target. Now, beyond just acquiring your spells from learning them in your spellbook, you're going to be able to get them from Trinkets as well. All Trinkets will give you a buff to your character's stats, but some of them will also allow you to use special spells or abilities while it's equipped. So take the scroll trinket, for example. There will be plenty of scrolls that you can find in game, and some of them, again, as long as you have them equipped, will allow you to cast a fireball, heal yourself, or maybe even summon a skeleton or animal to fight for you. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be working on next, though I was thinking of starting on the inventory and maybe the loot system. But at the same time, I just don't want to get buried doing something that's going to take ages if it's not going to translate to actual gameplay right away. I'm so early in development, I'm in that weird state where I have so much left to do that I don't know where to start next. Either way, I'm done with the spell effects and the action bar for now, or at least till after I've added a simple combat system. Having said all that, I think that's probably everything I've got to show for now. So if you'd like to keep up with my weekly progress outside of YouTube, or if you're an indie game creator yourself and want to show off your own game, I've set up a Discord where indie game developers can come together, collaborate, show off their own work, or even just chat all things game design. I also have an absolute ton of tutorials prepared for new creators uh, for many different programs, as well as plenty of game design related media to keep people motivated and entertained. So for those who are interested, you can find the link in the description. All that said, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.